Hi guys, Elmer, your fire protection guy. So my next project is replacing this 2800 notifier inertia with an F220 Petronics, not the 3030, okay? The difference between the two is if I use Petronics 220, I'm going to replace all the detectors in the field to make it compatible with the 220. But if I use the 3030, I don't need to change anything in the field, just the fire panel. But I decided to change everything in the field except the base and then change this fire panel. I love the 220 because it's better than the 3030 and easier to program. Okay, let's check what's inside this fire panel. It's just basic. Okay, let's go and check it. So this is your 2800 pile indicating panel. You have an occupant warning system. You have a pan controls. Okay, forget about that. All right. We're going to install a pan control, but it's not being used, so it's useless. It's a, because we have only one air conditioning trip, and that's it. Okay. So you have the main board. You have the battery supply, charger, one loop card and the occupant warning system and eight-way relay. And then that's your fan controls, all right? And then that's it, the display. Easy, right? Okay. You also have the 240 volts. What's this one? It's the surge protector and just the old batteries. Easy, all right? So I decided to replace it with a F220. Day one, I need a scissor lead. Okay, I need a scissor lead to check if my module in the beam detector is compatible with the new F220, okay? And then I found out that I don't need to do anything and don't change anything because the beam detector is compatible with the 220. It's a system sensor beam detector and the module that's connected there is also a system sensor. So we don't do anything at all. It's a conventional beam detector. I'm going to start replacing this fire panel and all the detectors. There are only 40 detectors in the field plus an air conditioning duct. So it will be easy replacing this, the detector, and then program. All right. Okay, we installing now the new F220 Petronics. We already removed some of the detector. This is the Notifier 851 smoke detector. We're going to clean and use it somewhere else. Okay. And then after that, we're going to try to reach all the other detector in the stage using our extendable pole. Okay. Uh, that's our extendable pole. That's the one. All right. And this is the 2800 that we removed. Okay, this is one of our training panel. Okay, so let's try to finish the termination of those cables. And then we're going to program after that.
Prior to our work, we have the list of detector. We downloaded the program and we have the list, printed list of detectors in the old 2800. And one by one, of course, we're going to replace this detector. The only thing that we don't have access is the lip shop detector, which we need a, a technician to uh, assist us in replacing that particular detector in the lip shop and a, a lift technician. So right now we are doing commissioning. So there are folks when we come out, we program the system and then we come out with nine or more than nine folks. And then slowly we're trying to reduce those faults by commissioning. Let's look at one of the faults. So some of the faults. Level two kitchenette that's a missing. That's a heat detector. So we decided to remove the detector. So once we put the proper detector, that will clear. The next one is top store room. That is a very high detector that we use our pole. So it was not fitted well. This one top of lip shop, okay? Oh, look at that. The other one is cleared already, the one that's store. So he, he perfectly done it. And this one top of lip shop, we need a lip technician so they can give us access to replace that 34, detector 34 with a System sensor 2251. Right now, it's an NFS 851 notifier detector. So these two will stay as it is until we replace them. <laughs> 